Hello all. In this video, we will discuss on how we can configure Azure DevOps agent. So there are two ways of installing the agents in Azure DevOps. The first is configuring the agent as a service and the next is configuring the agent in an interactive mode. In this session, we will discuss on how can we configure the agent as a service. First, we'll check the prerequisites. The first is Azure DevOps organization. So you should be a member of an Azure DevOps organization so that you can have the respective URL and you can configure the agent. The next is the mission in which you need to host the agent. Uh, in, for, for in this example, I have my uh, uh, virtual mission or uh, uh, so I can install the agent in my virtual mission. It could also be your uh, personal laptop. And the next is the personal access token. Uh, we call it as PAT. So it really helps in the authentication purpose. And the next is installation package. So you can find this installation package in the Azure DevOps organization URL. Now, I am in my Azure DevOps organization page. So in the agent pool sections, I have many agent pools. So let me choose the default agent pool where I can install my self-hosted agent. So here you see there are multiple tabs. So let me click on the agents tab. So no agents has been configured for this agent pool default. So now let me click on new agent. So in this pop-up, it would give you a provision to choose or download the uh, agent package. This is for Windows and you can also download the package for Mac OS and Linux. In my case, I'm gonna use the uh, Windows agent packages. So I can just click on download. It downloads the uh, packages. So once that is downloaded, I can move those packages to the required directory in which I can install my agent. So I'll go to the respective agent directory. So here you go. So this is the agent directory which I have chosen. And this is the downloaded package. And I have extracted all those packages. So once the zip file is extracted, you can find these uh, folders and uh, command line scripts. Now let's go ahead and install the uh, agent. For that, let me open up the command prompt. I'll open it in the administrator mode. And let me copy the directory path. I'll change it to the respective directory. Now, first run the config.cm. So here you go. You can see that Azure Pipelines is getting popped up here and it is asking uh, to enter the Azure DevOps organization URL. So this is my Azure DevOps organization URL. I'll copy it and I'll paste it in the command prompt. Now it is asking us for the authentication type. As said earlier, I'm going to use PAT as an authentication type. So let me click on enter. And now it asks for the PAT. So from where can I get the PAT? So I'll show you. Let me go to the Azure DevOps organization. And in the top right, you can see the user settings and you have personal access tokens. This is specific to a user. So let me click on new token and I'll name the token as agent installation pad and I'll give 30 days as expiration and I'll give full access for this pad. I'll create it and let me copy it. 
Let's copy. I'm pasting the pad token in the command prompt. Now it is going to authenticate. So it is trying to connect to the Azure DevOps server. Yes, it has been connected. Now it asks for the agent pool. So I have been uh, trying to install the agent in the default agent pool. So let me just click on enter. The agent name. So I can specify the uh, name of the agent that I'm configuring now. Uh, let me name it as agent. So post. So this is my agent name. So now it checks for the capabilities. And it is trying to test the connectivity of the agent to the Azure DevOps services. So the testing is successful here, as you see. Now it is asking for the work folder. So once the agent is getting installed, a specific directory called work folder would be uh, created and you can name it as per your requirement. So I'll just set it to default. So it would be named as underscore work. And it asks whether uh, the agent can be run as a service. Yes, so that is gonna be my option. Let me choose yes here. Enter enable service ID type unrestricted for agent as service. Let me choose no. And it is asking the user account with which it can run the service. So let me use the network service. Here you see. So it has configured the agent as a service and it is asking us whether uh, we can start the uh, service immediately after the configuration. Let me choose yes. Cool then. So the agent has been configured. Let's see if the agent has been configured successfully in my mission. I'll open up the services uh, page. So here you see. This is how the naming convention of the self-hosted agent. So it shows that Azure Pipelines agent service with uh, the naming convention called organization name and the pool name and then the agent name. So if you see here, I think it has not started yet. So let me click on start. It will start the service. Now I can also verify the same uh, in the Azure DevOps page. So let me go to the Azure DevOps organization page and let me go to the respective agent pool. So it is the default agent pool and if I click on agent, here you go. I can see the agent self-hosted, which I had just configured few minutes back and it has been set to online. So this is how you need to configure self-hosted agent in your mission. Hope this helps. Uh, please do uh, like, share and subscribe for more videos. Thank you all for watching.